Hey guys, what is going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my picks and predictions for the divisional round of this year's NFL playoffs. So let's just kick things off with the first game we're going to watch this upcoming weekend, and that is Bengals versus Titans. So the Titans are playing their first game of the playoff because they are the number one seed. And I honestly think a lot of this game is going to come down to Derrick Henry. My question with Derrick Henry is not just how is he gonna play in his first game back, like skill wise, right? My question is also how much is he going to be able to play in his first game back? You know, how many snaps is he going to be able to take? Because it's just not a foot injury that he's coming off of. He's coming off of foot surgery that he had earlier in the season. If this Titans run game is stopped or Derrick Henry isn't playing really well, I don't know if I trust Ryan Tannehill to make those big throws he has to make if there is no run game for the Titans. That's my biggest concern with the Titans right now. How is Ryan Tannehill going to play? Because there are some games where he does play really, really well, but then there are some games where he really doesn't look too great. So my question is, are we going to see a good Ryan Tannehill or Ryan, Ryan Tannehill that's turning the ball over, trying to do too much if the run game is not working? I like the way this Titans defense matches up with this Bengals offense. I think they have the pass rush to get to, you know, Joe Burrow with this Bengals offensive line not being too good. And if, you know, Joe Burrow is constantly being sacked, it's going to be pretty hard for him to, you know, throw the ball down the field to Jamar Chase. So with that being said, I am going to have to go with my original prediction from before the playoffs started, and that is picking the Bengals to win this game. I think this could be a really close game, but just at the end of the day, if one of these teams needs a two-minute drive to win the game, I just trust Joe Burrow to do that more than Ryan Tannehill. And I really feel like the Bengals have a ton of momentum right now. I mean, this offense is on fire and momentum, such a huge thing in football, as we all know. So I'm going to go with the team that's hot and I'm going to go with the Bengals. My final score prediction is 24 to 16 with the Bengals winning. The next game we got is 49ers versus Packers. So we got the number one seed, Green Bay Packers, who had the best record during the regular season. They were super dominant, just super consistent despite the injuries that they had on their team. And then we have the San Francisco 49ers, who just pulled off a huge upset in the wild card round. And I think this team really does have a chance to win this game. Let me say that. They showed us that they could beat Dallas Pretty, pretty easily. I know that game kind of came down to the final seconds, but they looked really good versus Dallas. This 49ers team is just really fun to watch because of, you know, Debo Samuel. There's so many plays that could be drawn up for him. He could be a running back. He could be a wide receiver. And as we saw in the week 18, 18 game versus the Rams, he could throw touchdowns as a quarterback. So just trying to game plan your defense to stop Samuel is just going to be very hard for the Green Bay Packers, despite how well they have played this season. He can just do so much. Samuel is just so versatile and he's just so much fun to watch. The 49ers win versus the Rams in week 18 looks even more impressive now after how badly the Rams beat the Cardinals last night. Like that 49ers win now looks looks really, really good. But on the other side, we do have the Packers who are the number one seed, best record in the regular season. Like I said, this team has looked just, you know, a level above every other team in the NFL throughout the season. And now they are going to be getting key players back from injury just to make them even better. Aaron Rodgers just looks like a man on a mission this season. The regular season game uh, between these two teams uh, earlier this season, it ended in a last second field goal. It was a crazy game, a really close game. And I feel like this playoff game is going to be really close and really crazy. I feel like the 49ers are definitely going to be able to compete with the Packers. But with that being said, I am going to have to stick with the Packers. I do have to go with the Packers to win this game. They just look like the best team in the league right now. And it just seems like this might be your, their year. I know we say that a lot of years about teams like, oh, this looks like it's their year, but I don't know. Green Bay looks really, really good. And now they're getting these key players back from injury to make them even better. I just don't trust Jimmy G to outduel Aaron Rodgers in a playoff game, especially in Lambeau, in Lambeau. Lambeau is just such a huge home field advantage. So I am going to have to go with the Packers, even though I have so much respect for the 49ers. I still think they're a really great team, a really great organization, just the way they've drafted and stuff. I think this team really does have a bright future, especially with Trey Lance, who I hope they do use in this game, though. Like, I hope he actually gets some playing time because um, you could do so many things with him on the field as well. You can even have him on the field with Jimmy. So I hope uh, they do use him, especially because it's going to be freezing cold in Lambeau if they want to keep the ball on the ground and stuff. So my final score prediction 
for this game is Packers winning 27-17. I just gave you guys some of the teams I think are going to win this weekend, but you guys can pick the teams you think are going to win this weekend because this video is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. The NFL playoffs are here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is kicking things off with a huge offer. Counting down to Super Bowl 56, new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on any football team to win their game. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team is victorious. That's right. Bet just $5 on any NFL playoff game and DraftKings Sportsbook will give new customers an additional $280 in free bets if the team they choose is wins their game. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you still have something to play for every weekend of the playoffs. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Football Contest. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code SHEGOTSPORTS and get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL team. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code SHEGOTSPORTS at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. So let's move on to Sunday's games. So the first game we have on Sunday is Rams versus Buccaneers. So the Rams just absolutely embarrassed the Cardinals last night in their wild card game. I mean, the Cardinals could not move the ball against this Rams defense. It was it was embarrassing for the Cardinals. I will I will say that Stafford did not turn the ball over, which is huge because that was my big concern with this team heading into the postseason. But he played a really really great game. He didn't have to do a ton, but when he did make his throws, they were great throws. Just was was careful with the ball. Great game by Stafford. Like I mentioned, the Rams defense played really, really well against the Cardinals. They were flying all over the field. They were just so quick all over the place, making tackles at the line of scrimmage. So I think this Rams defense is going to be able to push Brady outside the pocket and make him throw from outside the pocket. And if they're able to do that, I think they can force Brady to, you know, make a lot of not so great throws and maybe maybe even throw an interception or two. Also, if Jalen Ramsey is really able to take Mike Evans out of this game, this Bucks offense could really, really struggle. The Rams beat the Buccaneers earlier this season, and I'm going to pick them to do it again in the playoffs. So I have the Rams winning this one 28 to 24. So the final game of the weekend is Bills versus Chiefs. The number three seed Bills versus the number two seed Chiefs. And this is tough. I don't I don't know who to choose in this game because this is this is tough. Like I just want to be like it's going to be a tie, but that's impossible because it's the playoffs. So ties aren't allowed. This is this is my thought process right now. Let me let me take you through my thought process right now. I trust the Bills defense more than the Chiefs defense. But I trust the Chiefs offense more than the Bills offense, but not by a ton, just by a little bit. I trust the Chiefs offense just a little more than the Bills offense right now. Both Mahomes and Allen threw five touchdown passes in their wild card games. Both of them had great games. I like how the Chiefs are a second half team because I feel like the game is never really over when you are playing them. Like if the Bills were up by 21 at halftime, I would still think the Chiefs had a chance to win that game. I'd be like, okay, this game isn't over. Chiefs are a second half team. We've seen them come back from big deficits in the playoff before. So why can't they do it again? I like that about the Chiefs. So with that being said, uh, I don't want to make a pick here. I don't want to pick a team here. I don't want to pick a team. I'm going to have to go with the Chiefs. Give me home field advantage. Chiefs have home field advantage. Give me the team with the home field advantage. Give me the team that's, you know, had a lot of experience in the playoffs in recent years, been to back-to-back Super Bowls, obviously only won the one two years ago, but still they have a lot of experience. They're great in the playoffs. I just got to go with the Chiefs, but like, I don't know because I feel like this might be the Bills year to like finally get past the Chiefs in the AFC. I don't know. This is tough. But I'll just stick with the Chiefs. I'll stick with the Chiefs. This is like actually the most difficult game to decide. This was the toughest game to decide. All the other games were like pretty easy for me to decide who was going to win. But this is like, I don't know. Like my indecisiveness is at an all-time high right now. Bills fans, please don't be mad at me, guys. You guys are like so cool. You guys are like the coolest fan base ever. And like I want to be friends with you guys. Um, But I did pick you guys to win last weekend and you did win. So like that was pretty cool of me, right? But yeah, my final score prediction is 38-35 Chiefs. So I have this being a high scoring game and a close game. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not confident in, in this pick right now, though. Let me just say that I'm not confident in this pick. Like, I'm not like, oh, yes, for sure. The Chiefs are going to win. Absolutely not. Like, I'm not confident in this at all. But 
I just had to pick a team. Still wish I could pick a tie. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let me know your picks for this upcoming weekend. And if you want to, feel free to subscribe, guys. Peace.